I just want to take a real quick tour of some of the deprecated and discontinued items that are in SQL Server 2008. Let's just take a look. Uh, first off, let me just make sure you understand. I'm not trying to just give you a big table of stuff that some of it matters and some of it doesn't. I've kind of cherry picked, as we say, some of the most likely to affect you items. And not all. You, you definitely probably uh, want to check the lists in complete. Books Online has that complete list. Now, let's just define what deprecated and discontinued means. Discontinued is far worse. <laughs> if you get into a situation where you're trying to upgrade to SQL Server 2008 or you're considering your application for 2008, you run into a discontinued item, that means your application won't work. Deprecated means that your app may not work oh, at the next hotfix, at the next version, at the next uh, service pack. Okay, so discontinued doesn't work now. Deprecated, not going to work in the future. So we'll first stick with the discontinued items since that is the smallest list. Some of these are what used to be deprecated when SQL Server 2005 launched. So like backup with log, uh, backup log with no log or with truncate only. Those are really the same thing here. Uh, these two here, they're really the same exact statement, but they were deprecated in SQL 2005. They are discontinued in 2008, so they don't work. Don't use them. You can't go back with compatibility models 7.0, the compatibility. If you don't know what that means, effectively that is you're trying to tell the SQL Server database engine to behave as though it is an earlier version. You can only go back to SQL Server 2000 in 2008. And I think we'll see that going forward as the standard. Going, They'll support two releases. Uh, the North Wind and Pubs database, some people still surprised that that's gone. It was, they were removed in SQL Server 2005 and replaced with AdventureWorks. Uh, now the surface area configuration tool, this was a tool that allowed us to set a lot of high level configurations like whether to use SQL CLR, uh, whether to use remote connections, things like that. That was in SQL 2005, gone from SQL 2008. Now let's take a look next at the deprecated items. I've got several pages of the deprecated items here. Um, I've tried to, again, cherry pick these, pick out the ones I thought would be most likely to be found in a production system. If you were using passwords on backups, that's gone. Um, fast first row hints are gone. You have to change it to an option fast. The SPDB compatibility level here was, it's a goner. Uh, let me get it right there. Sorry about that. That one's gone. You can now implement, or use the alter database command. And you know what? We can't back up to tape anymore. You can only back up to disk. Now, one that's likely to affect a large number of people is set ANSI nulls on and off here. Okay, so setting ANSI nulls off. If you do that in your code, it's not going to work. Okay, so be careful. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let me get out of here. Uh, again, like I said, I have a several uh, pages of this here. Notice uh, for some of you guys, you're still using SP Attach DB, and that has been replaced with Create Database. Still works today, going to be removed in a future version. Right? SP Change Users Login. Wow, going to the alter user. Okay, assigning the SID that way. And these are not new in SQL 2008, but the DBCC commands have been replaced with different features. That was done in SQL 2005. I just include them here for completeness. Uh, SP configure, uh, SP configure, the priority boost is not going to have any effect in the future. Uh, and, oops, that's wrong. I, I apologize. I recognize as I'm doing this that I made a little bit of a typo. And that should say, allow updates. Sorry about that. In other words, you cannot update the system tables in SQL 2005. Not new to SQL 2008, but for those of you coming from a background of SQL 2000, I include this for 
completeness. Uh, a lot of these down here, this just continues SQL 2005s. Uh, if you're using any of the database administrator stored procedures there, uh, as well as some of the ones on the next page, then they're gone. You can't really use those anymore. The grant all, I kind of hate that this is going away here, the grant all. That was a quick way to say deny all to Joe. And then Joe had no permissions. So today, you have to remove Joe as a user or disable that account. You can't say grant all or deny all. You'd have to say grant insert, comma, select, comma, update, comma, delete. A lot of the system tables are going away, and they've been replaced by compatibility views or catalog views. And if you were using write text, update text, or read text, they're going away. Uh, but you shouldn't be using them anyway because you shouldn't be using the text or in-text or image data types. A final piece here is that we have three and four part column names in queries. That's gone. Um, use your one or two part names. And I, I guess I should have done a better job here. I apologize again. Um, right here where I've got the select t dot product name. This is a two part name. You've got the table alias, the t, right there. And then you've got the column name. So it's a two part name. Don't put database name dot schema dot object. And group by all is actually going away. I used to do some fun examples with that, but it has gone.